Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Saturday. So it is not only a grocery haul day, it is a massive grocery haul. I did my Costco shopping, it's been two months-ish since I've been to Costco and then I hit up my local grocery store as well. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single a week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost and maintained 140 pounds weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this massive grocery haul. part of my massive haul is from Costco. I think it's been two or three months since I've been to Costco and we needed toilet paper, paper towels, I needed protein shakes, few other staples and then of course I found some new food finds, some exciting things. So let's jump in to the Costco haul. First thing I picked up is a big case of Fairlife chocolate shakes. I was trying to di decide between these and Premier but I had bought those couple of cases of pumpkin spice Premier which is my favorite so I opted for the Fairlife. And then I bought a case of pure protein bars. It has been so long since I've had pure protein and I actually really like these protein bars. They have 20 grams of protein and with all the trips I have coming up, I'm going to really heavily rely on protein bars, protein powders, protein shakes to get in my protein. So I grabbed this, it was currently on coupon. I grabbed some fruit cups for Troy. He likes to take these with him when he goes out and about. We like to have them on hand. They're really good for cottage cheese and they're just an excellent price at Costco. And speaking of excellent price, the Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt, which is my all time favorite, was on coupon for less than $10 for 16 of them, which is an amazing deal. I mean, an amazing, amazing deal and it's my all time favorite yogurt. I did pick up the mac and cheese cups for Troy. Since I am going to be gone traveling, I thought this would be just really easy for him to add water, throw in the microwave. And then this is a new find for me. This is from the brand Chalk X Zero, which is a low sugar organic chocolate company. It's 69% cacao, and this is the dark milk chocolate toffee almond and sea salt snaps. It's a long name and they're only 80 calories a piece, which I thought was a really good deal. There's no weird ingredients in here. I checked to see if there was erythritol or any sugar alcohols and nothing questionable at all. And they are also a gluten-free chocolate, less than $10. So again, I just thought that would be really easy to have for a pre-portioned sweet treat and I can take them traveling. I also picked up Zip Fizz. Troy loves this. He puts one of these in his water. Dietary supplement, just a lot of really, really good vitamins and minerals. Non-drowsy allergy medicine. In. It's such a good deal at Costco, so I picked that up. And then this is Troy's favorite bread. This is the Dave's Killer Bread, white done right. I also like this bread as well. Nice, clean ingredients and a really good white bread. If you're a white bread person and you want a better option, this one is definitely a better option. I also picked up some Vital Proteins Collagen because it was on coupon, and I wanna say it was $22, which is about $10 off the normal price. So that was a steal. And then of course dog treats, these were on sale. So first is the beef sticks with grass fed beef. I was actually excited to see that for dogs and there's no weird ingredients. It actually says wheat free, corn free, poultry free and by product free. So I grabbed those and then these are really good too from the Blue Buffalo brand. These are the chicken and apple sausage bites. My dogs really like those, they're nice and soft. Toilet paper, that was one of the main reasons I made my trip to Costco. And then they had their pumpkin seeds on coupon. This was $6. And this is the Go Raw brand. This is a very expensive brand. A tiny bag of these at Sprouts is $6 or $7. And this was $6 for this huge bag. There's eight grams of protein in pumpkin seeds. Eight grams, which is amazing in a quarter cup. It's something I love putting on my yogurt bowl. I pretty much add pumpkin seeds to every single yogurt bowl. So I will definitely go through those. And then these were on coupon as well. This is from the brand Country Archer. And these are their grass-fed beef sticks. But these are the minis. There's zero sugar and four grams of protein per little stick. And they're only 45 calories. So I thought, again, this is great for me to take with me when I travel. They're 100% grass-fed beef, nice, clean ingredients. And they're not a turkey stick. Sometimes I get tired of turkey sticks. This is an actual 
beef stick. And I just love that they're minis. You can have one of these and a cheese stick for a perfect high protein snack. We were completely out of pasta sauce, so I picked up the double pack of Rayos. This is the cleanest ingredient most delicious sauce. And then I did grab Troy his four bean salad. He loves this. And Costco is, again, just a really good deal. Less than $9 for two jars. The Chosen Foods avocado oil mayo was on coupon for $6. Also an amazing deal. You would pay that for a tiny jar at the grocery store. And then I did pick up the double pack of pepperoni. I bought this before. We throw one of these in the freezer and then the other one we throw in our fridge. And it's great just to have a pepperoni on hand, especially because I bought this. This is the Molinaro's Pizza Kit. So this is an organic pizza starter kit. So you're going to get the crust and the pizza sauce. So I'm gonna make pizza tonight for dinner and this is less than $5 for four pizza crusts. And I like that because you can make whatever kind of pizza you want. You could do veggie, Hawaiian. We're gonna do probably pepperoni, red onion. We'll see what else we put on our pizza, but that was a really great deal. Also on coupon were the Tyson crispy chicken strips. I bought a salad kit and I thought I would put these on the salad kit. I also have the Just Bear, but I thought these would be just something a little bit different. And this whole bag was $11. And this was very exciting. I love Tate's. Tate's Bake Shop makes really good cookies and they're really good ingredients. And they have their pumpkin. So of course I had to pick them up. You get two cookies for 140 calories. I usually just eat one. They are crispy and thin and they're just really buttery and really, really good. So I couldn't pass that up. Paper towels, again, another reason we went to Costco. I also bought a case of water that is already put away in the garage. And then the creamy dill pickle salad kit. This is one of my favorites. You actually get two of them for $7. And that's what I bought the chicken for was some protein to add to the salad kit. So I think maybe we'll do that for dinner tomorrow night. We'll have pizza tonight for dinner. And then I did pick up a variety pack of sliced cheese. We go through a lot of cheese. And this is Swiss Colby Jack Cheddar and Monterey Jack. And then last but not least, a big bag of Gala apples. Love that these are organic. Love that they're small. I've been loving apples and peanut butter. That's been one of my very, very favorite snacks. I've also been dicing up apples and putting them on the light and fit caramel apple yogurt for more apple vibe. And it's so good. Plus you get in all the fiber from the fruit. So I picked those up as well. So that is everything from Costco. Let's jump into the rest of the haul. So the rest of my grocery haul for the week came from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. I am currently on a little trip when you see this grocery haul. So a lot of this is for Troy while I am gone. So let me show you what I picked up. I did grab him some more of the Thomas English muffins. My favorite's the sourdough. I think the sourdough is the best. I eat these as well, but he asked for these to make some breakfast sandwiches while I'm gone. And then I did pick him up a couple of frozen pizzas. We like thin crust, so I did get an extra thin crust pepperoni pizza from the Kroger brand and then a self-rising three meat pizza. Some poppy seed muffins for him. I thought that would be a quick, easy breakfast. And then these big peanut butter cookies just so that he has a little something sweet on hand. I also grabbed some French fried onions. I'm going to be making one of our favorite casseroles, our all time favorite casseroles. A little bit of a spin on it. This is a different recipe, but pretty similar to the one we make a lot. And that'll be in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned for that. So I did need some French fried onions and also some chicken broth for that recipe. He asked for some uh, salami so that he could do salami, cheese, and crackers. We have tons of cheese that you saw me haul it from Costco, the cheese slices. So I just grabbed these little salami rounds for him. That'll make it easy for meat, cheese, and crackers. And then I picked up a couple of these Cracker Barrel Bites. This is extra sharp yellow, extra sharp white, and then little mini Ritz crackers. These are a great quick snack, and these were on sale for $1.34, so I picked up two of them. We also were almost completely out of sour cream, so I grabbed some Daisy Light. And then for when I get home, I want to make sure my fridge, my house is stocked with healthy food. So I grabbed two of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. These are actually currently on sale at Kroger stores. This is my favorite cottage cheese in the whole world. So I picked up two of those. And then I'm going to have this today. It's been a long time since I've had a vitamin water. And this flavor coconut lime just sounded really, really good. So I'm going to throw this in the fridge so I can try it out, test it out later. I'll put here on the screen my thoughts because I'll try this before I edit this video. Oh, it is zero points. It's only five calories for the bottle. I grabbed some deli roast beef for him so that he can make some sandwiches while I'm gone as well. He asked for sandwich stuff and meat, cheese, and crackers. And 
frozen pizza. So I hooked him up with everything he asked for. And then I did grab quite a bit of cheese because we are out. We used all the cheese that we purchased last week. So a bag of light shredded cheese. And then you guys already know that this thick cut cheese is my favorite. The private selection brand was still on sale for $2.99 a bag. So I have the aged cheddar blend and the chef's blend. These two are probably my favorite. Anyways, such good cheese. I love the thick cut so much. And then while I was getting my cottage cheese, the Daisy sour cream Daisy guy was there stocking and he actually gave me coupons for free Daisy sour cream dip. So these I guess are new to the Daisy line. I will tell you that Daisy has nice clean ingredients in their cottage cheese. So if you can't find good culture, Daisy is one of the ones that doesn't have fillers and carrageenan. So I do buy Daisy a lot. Like I said, I bought their sour cream, but I got these for Troy. I thought he could have these while I'm gone. And then of course I can dip veggies and things in them when I get home. So I have the French onion and the creamy ranch. And again, he gave me free coupons, so I didn't have to buy either of them but I did buy some chips for Troy so that he could have chips and dip while I'm gone. Speaking of chips, when did they become so expensive? The name brand Ruffles and Lay's were four something a bag and the family size bag's almost $7. I remember when you could get chips for $1.99 a bag, crazy. These ones, the Kroger brand were $1.99. The ingredients are the exact same. So I'm not gonna spend three times the amount. So Kroger it is. And then I did pick up some water enhancers. These were on sale for four for five. I wanted to take some of these with me on my trip. It still counts as water if you put flavoring in it. So don't think it doesn't count as water. And if it helps you get in your water, flavor it however you need to flavor it. So I grabbed a Sunkist, a, a Starburst Blue, a Starburst Pink, and then the Sonic Ocean water. Again, it's just an easy way to get in your water. Three gallons of skim milk for Troy. He goes through a couple of gallons every week. And then we were out of our grated Parmesan cheese. I don't typically use this. I like the fresh Parmesan, but Troy uses this a lot. So I picked up another one. And then I also just grabbed a pizza sauce. We've been making pizzas a lot lately and I've been using just marinara sauce. And I thought, let me get some pizza sauce, just have it on hand. So I grabbed the Simple Truth Organic. And then Troy also asked for tortillas. And these were two Two for five, which is a really good deal for the big La Banderita burrito size. So I picked up two packages for him and then just a little bit of veggies because I bought quite a bit of fruit at Costco and I still have some fruit on hand and he doesn't eat a lot of fruit while I'm gone and I didn't want it to go bad. So I did get some green leaf lettuce for him for his sandwiches, a red onion and a regular onion for recipes. And then I needed some broccoli for that casserole. So I picked up the frozen chopped broccoli. So that will round out this massive grocery haul. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners. And as a reminder, there is no meal prep on Monday because I will be out of town. So here's what is on my menu for the week. Like I mentioned, I'm out of town for the entire weekend, but on Monday I am making that cheesy chicken broccoli rice casserole. You'll see that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. That's what I picked up all the ingredients for. We'll do leftovers on Tuesday to finish that up. And then I didn't make the beef barley soup this last week. So I'm going to make that on Wednesday. And then that way we'll have that is well for the week. Thank you for joining me for this massive haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Costco and my local Kroger store. We had fall foods, we had new food finds. It was a really good grocery haul. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget there is no meal prep on Monday, but I will see you tomorrow for a video as well as next Wednesday for a what I eat in a day. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.